friends and in this video we are going to discuss about the minors and the cofactors of the matrix so the minors of the matrix what do you mean by minors and the cofactors of the matrix so suppose if i have a matrix a represented by 2 1 minus 1 4 i take only 2 by 2 because this makes the explanation simple so you know that this element 2 is called as represented as a11 this is a a11 means first row first column so this is a11 this is a12 this is a21 and this is a22 now minor of matrix so we represent like the minor of this matrix as m1 m11 capital m11 means the minor of this element 11 like the 2 so minor of 11 how can you find so you see that you have to cover or you can say you have to remove the entire row and the entire column to which this element belongs so like this like the first row is gone because first row first column first row is gone and the first column is gone then you find a small smaller matrix and that is here it's a unit matrix because it has only one element not unit matrix it's called the singular matrix or you can say this a matrix with one element so this is four so the m11 is four this is four this is the minor so minor of this element is four now if you see that if i go for second one so minor of this one is minus one so minor of 1, 2 is minus 1. Now I go for this. So I cover this one and this one. So it means I cover this one and this one. So what is open? This one, A1, 2. So the minor of 2, 1 is 1. And then if you cover this one, 4 and this, so you'll get this element. It's just vertically opposite in the case of square matrix. So minor of 2, 2, minor of 2, 2 will be just 4. Now if you want to find the cofactors, so cofactors, cofactors of element A11, means the element is A11, is minus 1 to the power i plus j. And what is i? This is i is the ith row to which the element belongs and the jth column to which the element belongs because every element belongs to some row and column because it's a two-dimensional representation of data so it's i 1 plus j so now you say that 1 plus 1 and the property of minus 1 is very much like minus 1 if you add these two so 1 plus 1 2 so you'll get plus 1 if you have minus 1 plus 2 plus 1, 3, so you get minus 1. When, when you have the even power on minus 1, the result is plus 1, and odd power on the minus 1 gives you minus 1. So if you see this is 1, 1, if you add this 1 and 1, so it's 2 even, 1, 2 odd, 2, 1 odd, so 2, 2 odd. So these two elements, a1, 2 and a2, 1, they will have their signs changed. So it means the first element, like the cofactors of A1 will be just remaining 4 because this part becomes positive here. For this uh, M12, it becomes, this is 1, 2. So this becomes negation, like the negative of this whose power is negative. So this one sign changes to negative. It's already minus 1, so it becomes plus 1. And then for this also, because 2, 1 and 1, 2, this sum to be uh, odd. And that's why these two will have their signs changed. So minus 1. This is minus 1 and the 4 will remain as it is. So these elements 4, 1, minus 1, 4, they are called as cofactors of A11, A12, A13 and A, sorry this is not A13, 2, 1 and this is 2, 2. Now I take the very same example, very same but with the third orders. Now you pay attention to you go that is. Now I take another matrix of the order 3 by 3. So here 1, minus 1, 2, 0, 4, minus 1, 
minus 1, minus 2, 3. Now we have to find the minors and the cofactors of this matrix. So the first element, this one, is represented by the indices 1, 1, first row, first column. So this is A11, first row, first column, A12, first row, second column, A13, first row, third column. This is second row, this is first row, this is second row, this is third row, this is first column, second column, and third column. So this is A21, second row, first column, A22, second row, second column, A23, second row, third column. This is third row, first column, and third row, second column, and third row, third column. Now I find this element, like I say minor of A11. So minor of A11. So for convenience, I represent this as M11. Capital M11 means minor of 11. 11 is the element corresponding to position first one, first column. And that's why this representation is also 1, 1. So now in this case, if I cover the entire row to which this element belongs, along with the entire column to which this element belongs, then you see this row is gone and this column is also gone. So you are getting a small 2 by 2 matrix and that is this part. So what you are getting? You are getting 4 minus 2 minus 1 and 3. Now you just find this is a smaller matrix you are getting but you have to find the determinant of this matrix and how to find the determinant so we do not represent this by boxes because we need the value of its determinant and that goes like this diagonal principal the product of the elements in the principal diagonal minus the product of the element in secondary diagonal so this is 4 3s are 12 so this will become 4 into 3 minus minus 1 multiplied with minus 2. This is 12 minus 2. So this is 10. So this element is 10. Now for the other elements, I will be going a little quicker. So let me have this scale first because this helps me to cover one element. Now I will go for this element A12. So we will write here the minor of A12 that is capital 1 2 and now we have to cover the first row and the second column so the first row is covered and then I'll cover the second column that is this one so what we are getting we are getting 0 minus 1 minus 1 3 so now how to find the determinant value of this so write 3 zeros are 0 because this is the primary call principal diagonal so 3 zeros are 0 minus minus 1 into minus 1 is 1 so 0 minus 1 that is minus 1 now I go for this one first row and the third column gone so what we are getting these two 0 4 minus 1 2 so principal first so minus 2 and 0 is 0 so 0 minus minus 4 that is 4 so that is 4 this is for m 1 3 a13. Now I go for A21. So A21, M21. This is dot dot slice same. So second row, first column. So I have to cover the second row, this one, and the first column. So what I'll get? Minus 1, 2, minus 2, 3. So this is minus 3, minus minus 4. So minus 3 plus 4, that is 1. Now I go for the second element. So I cover this one. And this one, so what I get? 1, 2, minus 1, 3. So 3 ones are 3. 3 minus minus 2, that is 5. So that is A, 2, 2. And this is M, 2, 2. Now for this A, 2, 3. A, 2, 3 is M, 2, 3. Now 2, 3. So this is gone. This row is gone. And this column is also gone. So in this condition, what do you get? 1 minus 1 and the minus 1 2 so minus 1 into 1 multiplied this minus 2 minus 2 minus minus 1 that is minus 3 minus 3 you can verify i'm going to faster because i can do it faster so now third row 
so a31 and that is m31 so this one is gone and this one is gone so you are getting only this smaller matrix and its determinant value will be minus 1 and 1 is 1 and 1 minus 8 is minus 7 so this is minus 7 now for second element this is gone and this is gone so i get minus 1 into 1 is 1 and minus 1 minus 1 minus 0 is minus 1 so this is 1 and this is for 3 2 and this is m32 now final element a33 m33 is how much so this is gone and this is gone so you get four ones are four and this is zero just four now find the cofactors so just pay attention again to find the cofactor just attach like i write cofactors as c12 c12 as minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 so 1 plus 2 and minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 so this will become 3 minus 1 to the power 3 and then you attach this value minus 1 2 so minus 1 to the power 3 that is odd number so minus 1 to the power odd number is minus 1 miss this element 1 2 will be negated it's already minus 1 so this will become 2 so now what we do that we simply check which one is getting negated for that we have to find the sum of those elements the sum of the subscript of those elements which is odd so 1 3 odd 1 1 even 1 3 even 2 1 odd 2 2 even 2 3 odd 3 1 even 3 2 odd so what do you find that one after the another the first is positive so we'll leave it is as it is so for this one this one you don't have to do anything this is 10 only for the 1 2 we have to negate so this is minus 1 and when it is negated this will become 1 this 1 3 no change 2 1 negated because this is odd 2 2 no change 2 3 negated so this will become plus 3 1 no change and 3 2 negated this is minus 1 become plus and 3 3 is plus so now we have a matrix of right this is called a joint a a joint of a is sorry just don't write it right there so we have found a matrix of matrix of cofactors cofactors of a so what are they so the first element 1 1 that is 10 then second element 1 1 1 2 1 3 minus 1 minus 1 4 2 1 2 2 1 2 2 2 3 so minus 1 5 3 minus 1 5 3 and then this is third row first third row minus 7 minus 7 1 and 4 so this is called the matrix of cofactors of A and there is also one term called as the transpose of a matrix transpose of a matrix means if you flip the if you just find another matrix by flipping the rows into the columns the columns into the rows that is called as transpose of a matrix it's represented as a to the power t so a to the power t is just like transpose of a matrix so now if i try find the transpose of the matrix so that is called as adjoint a so what is adjoint a a joint A is transpose of the matrix of cofactors of A. So I write simply A D J A, and then I find the transpose of this. So 10 minus 1, 4, this is along the first row. So this will become first column. 10 minus 1, 4. Minus 1, 5, 3, which is the second row, becomes second column. Minus 1, 5, 3. And then minus 7, minus 7, 1 and 4. This is the adjoint of A. And then one simple thing that how to find the inverse of a matrix. So inverse of a matrix A inverse is 1 over determinant value of A into adjoint of adjoint of A. So in the next video or just after clearing the screen. I will discuss about inverse of a